What about perfluorochemicals, another persistent industrial pollutant recently linked to thyroid disease? Though the highest levels were found in the United States, China comes in number two. Where is exposure coming from? A little in dust and drinking water, but overwhelmingly meat and fish. Though, of course, our infants get it mostly from us. What about the dietary intake of PCBs and organochlorine pesticides in children and adults? Fish, fats, meat, cheese, eggs, dairy, poultry. Same sources for children. What about DDT? Again, mostly fish. You know, everything eventually kind of flows into the sea, though our children get a bit more DDT drinking milk than adults. And for those aching for a little hexochlorobenzene, it's conveniently packaged in these same foods. How many pesticides do you think our children are potentially exposed to? Well, here's the list in alphabetical order. This is just up to A. Why don't we just stop at T here? How do these chemicals get into our food supply? We've so polluted our planet, now it just comes down in the rain and can concentrate their way up the food chain. Eight different pesticides were recently reported contaminating the snow-packed tips of the Rocky Mountains. Right? If they're contaminated, then everywhere is contaminated. So the best we can do is eat as low on the food chain as possible, plant foods, preferably organic.